So how good are Filipinos in English? This is a very important question. We're gonna find out today. Sa tingin nyo, ilang percentage ng mga Pinoy ang nagsasalita ng English? I think uh, 80 to 85 percent. Sa panahon ngayon, 30 percent na lang palagay ko. Mga nasa what? 80 percent. But before then, it is 7 p.m. and it's time to clap for all the healthcare workers out there who are at the front lines of COVID. Thank you so much for all that you do. So for a couple of years now, I've been trying to get people to come with me to uh, the Philippines and come discover my country. This is Vince, my travel buddy. That's right, I'm a go-ho. And one of the ways that I do that is to let them know that people in the Philippines speak English very, very well. And it's always a huge surprise, um, quite frankly. So we need to do a lot better in terms of marketing how good our English is in the Philippines, guys. But today we are going to be watching and reacting to Asian Boss's video that's exactly dealing with this particular topic. All right, let's go watch and react to this video, guys. Sa tingin nyo, ilang percentage ng mga Pinoy ang nagsasalita ng English? I think uh, 80 to 85 percent. Sa panahon ngayon, 30 percent na lang palagay ko. Mga nasa what? 80 percent. Siguro yung mga ma magagaling talaga mga 25 ganun. Uh, most of Filipinos, yeah. siyempre sa gadgets, tapos natututunan sa school. Uh, halos lahat ng subjects, uh, yun na yung ginagamit, English language. Let's pause. Alright, 30 percent, 70 percent, 80 percent. It seems like there's no consensus from the streets. And you kind of start learning English from first grade and on, and you have a really good grasp of understanding of it. I would say that a lot of people have an idea, have a really good level, a get really good grasp of English. In terms of actual fluent speakers, English speakers, I would say maybe a third. And then the rest understand and speak, uh, you know, English, you know, to a really good level. That's what I would say. Nagtataglish kayo, nagmimix kayo ng mga language, English, Tagalog, and even parang Spanish terms. Tama ba ako? Apo. Okay. For the sake of global viewers, natin, can you explain what ano is Taglish? Taglish po are, is a combination of English and Tagalog. In the middle of the sentence, uh, pwede kang mag I'm going to pause. So, um, so, Taglish is kind of the normal, the very contemporary form of Filipino language right now. Parts of your sentences are in Tagalog, parts of your sentences are in English. And if you want to know more about it, I did a reaction video right here. So, take a look at that. It's the same with Tagalog. If they, if you're asked to do full Tagalog, you easily switch back to Taglish as well. That's just the norm at this point. Uh, we are, mm, we used to watch Piva because we are not a big fan of mm, Piva. Ah, Piva. Uh, why do you think, sir, our Philippine team failed to qualify for the FIFA World Cup? There, there are, a lot, uh, there are. A lot of factors mm -hmm. that which is it's good. the Filipinos are not getting this. No? Uh, <laughs> that is mm, for my side. <laughs> the uh, Philippine uh, not. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> they get really nervous. I mean, they understand English really well. They were asked the question uh, uh... in English. <laughs> Because, because, uh, Filipino. Uh, Filipino. Filipino. <laughs> uh, we are not capable to qualify in ano, FIFA World Cup because we, because physically Filipino is small, smaller in height and other, <laughs> in other is financially we cannot afford the registration in FIFA World Cup or we He's are good. not. We are not physically fit and trainable in terms of FIFA World Cup. Why do you mix Tagalog and English when you speak? I don't know. Everyone reverts back to Tagalog. I don't know how to speak directly in Tagalog. Because there are Filipinos who are hard to say. 
Tagalog at English. Let's pun. Are they saying that it's hard to speak directly in a fluent English and it's hard to speak fluent Tagalog because Taglish is the norm. It's hilarious. Meron kasing mga ideas siguro that are best um, expressed ah. in English and then there are others na mas maganda kung Filipino. Mga tao, pag naging English, siyempre, uy, matalino, maraming alam. So parang mga iba, natatakot siguro mag-English kasi baka kutsayin o gano'n. So this is a super important question and we gotta pause and talk about it. So the question is, how uh, how do Filipinos view other Filipinos who speak English fluently? And honestly, it's a bit of a mix. And in fact, one of the comments uh, in my last vlog about Taglish, Mario Bermejo, means that yung, yung fear ko by speaking English is that people assume na nagyayabang ako. On the one hand, uh, you know, you're viewed in a higher standard because, you know, you if you do speak English fluently, you are deemed as educated, you deem, you're deemed as, you know, someone who's able to play in the international stage. So there's a lot of, you know, positives there. But there's also a lot of negative. Tino mo pagka fluent ka, pagka fluent ka mag English, pero hindi naman lahat ng fluent mag English ay matalino. I agree. I tend to kind of gauge how much English, how much Taglish, and how much Tagalog I speak, depending on where I am. I think in Manila, you know, I think it's it's pretty normal for a lot of people to uh, either speak Taglish or to know English very, very well. When I went to Bohol, we are here in Bohol, overlooking the chocolate hills. You know, people spoke Visaya over there. I spoke, Tag I speak Tagalog. And we couldn't communicate unless we spoke in English. So, um, so it really depends on where you are. If you are in the boondocks in the middle of nowhere. What's up guys? We are here in Liliu Laguna. If you have Tagalog capacity, use your Tagalog capacity and stretch it. How is that? What 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 is that? Hindi na magsasalita ng Tagalog or Taglish yung mga Filipino in favor ng English lang, ng speaking fluently in English. Uh, feeling ko po parang dadating po, pero sana wag naman. I, I think then I don't hindi think so. Yung... I can say possible. Yung mga grade to ko, grabe hindi talaga marunong magtagalog. Kailangan wow. mo talaga i-translate kung minsan. Wow, really? Sabi ko buti na lang hindi ako Filipino teacher sa kanila. <laughs> There's a new movement in the Philippines who are trying to really kind of highlight and get back to Filipino traditions and culture. And kapag hindi nagagamit ang isang wika, mamamatay ito. So kailangan, um, pwede natin i-adapt yung mm -hmm. Western languages, pero i-incorporate natin siya sa wikang Filipino. Kasi through, through that, ano, mas magiging mayabong yung wikang Filipino. And they are the ones who are kind of reigniting, you know, this desire, right, to do more in the arts when it comes to literature, to poetry, to film. I'm really happy that there is a resurgence and you know there's a new movement uh, led by young people who are doing that right now. Kailangan mahalin mo yung mm -hmm. sarili mong wika kahit na sabihin mo na uh, second language yung English uh, hindi mo pa rin dapat ipagpalit yung uh, sarili mong wika dahil ikaw ay tunay na Pilipino. <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm so happy young people are saying that right now. Filipinos do speak English very well, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you agree or if you don't. Uh, but what I really would like to kind of let people who are not Filipinos know is just, you know, come, come visit our country. Devil Abbey. It's a huge sandbar. It's high tide right now. Typically, the sandbar right here is a sand. You could lay down in, but right now it's covered in water. It's an easier place to travel because everybody speaks English. So I'm happy that these videos, this you know, the Asian boss and other vloggers out there are kind of showcasing the you know the diversity of languages, our grasp of English, and the amazing traditions and cultures that we have in the Philippines. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this vlog, if you agree with me or not, and definitely stay tuned for more. Ciao.